very simple objective in this video i like to highlight to you that price will always retrace after moving up so what is the meaning of retracement that means that when price move up it will always have to come down this is the nature why is that so let's say for example if you bought in a stock at one and then it moved to 10 and what would you want to do you want to sell because you move up like a lot already but those people who saw that when it moved up from 1 to 10 and they want to buy, they probably want to buy it at a lower price because 1 and 10 becomes a reference for them. So they want to buy somewhere in the middle or maybe somewhere slightly higher. But whatever it is, those who got in at here wants to take profit. Those who didn't get in wants to wait for a lower price to buy. Hence, with these two forces, price will retrace. Now, let me just show it to you what my system is doing. So first, we will look at the upward momentum and assume that price will move down, right? So when another upward momentum happens, we will always assume that price will move down and we will attempt to calculate what would be the likely price for price to move down. Okay, so this is the example of Tencent. I'm bringing up because then Tencent had retraced to the level, which to me is a very strong support level. So I will be talking about Ten cent, or potentially, if you are looking to execute the trade, what are the short-term instruments that you might want to consider? But in this case, uh, if you have a look at ten cent, which is four hundred ten and four hundred thirty, it isn't the first time that I talk about that. I mentioned these two levels in the previous video. So what I did was to predict a possible price level if price should starts to retrace down to still form a valid higher low, so that the uptrend is still valid and the calculated price would be around 410 and 431 so these are the two calculated price here that's 410 and 431 as a possible support all right so why are these two levels very important first we have a previous high here and second it's because of my prediction my prediction will always assume that if there is an upward momentum it will always move down then the question would be where would be the likely price so my system is predicting that 10 cent is likely to move to two levels one will be 410 another one will be 430 and in that that we saw that 10 cent first bounce off at 410 and then bounce off the second time at around 410 again and right now it's heading up so another example from Hang Hansing index will be even more obvious. Let's take a look at Hansing index. Now, this is Hansing index. Price had predicted that this would be the bounce off level. It's the same thing. You realize that price move up, it will retrace, it will move down, it will correct. So if we assume that this is one and then this is 10, then somewhere in the middle or somewhere at the upper range or the lower range will be where people are looking to buy. So hence, if you see this as an upward momentum, somewhere near to the middle range of this one and 10 will be the place where people are looking to buy so the system predicted that it's 19977 i'm just going to do a playback to show you that we are able to calculate this level in advance so let me just do a rollback and say for example we are here take a look at the playback so somewhere around this point here we have already seen 19977 for Hang Seng and it's logical to assume this level because it was a previous high and as well as near to another previous high here. So the system is predicting that this would be the key level that we are waiting for. All right, so while you might not be waiting at this level, it doesn't really matter. The whole idea is that instead of buying right at a high, this level becomes like a magnetic zone for you to look out for. So let's continue with the rollback. And price hit that level, rebounces off. And let's take a look at what's happening right now. So this is where Hang Seng is at this moment. It bounces off the suspected levels, which is 19977. Take a look at the low here. If you look at the left-hand side, so somewhere around here, if I pinpoint this one here, you find that the low that was created by Hang Seng was 19977. So we will accurate right to the that's my place okay now so here what is Hang Seng showing showing Hang Seng is showing a possible rebound that means that with today showing a bullish candle 
trading slightly above the previous high. If price should continue to move up, then this is a support level. That means that this correction here is likely to come to an end. Well, what am I looking at? I'm probably suspecting that there might be a little bit of a bullishness in Hang Seng. And if you should want to look at some short-term bullish instrument, then you might want to look out for DLCs. On to UBS DLCs. UBS is one of the issuer of daily leverage certificate in the Singapore Stock Exchange. Choose Hang Seng Index. You can find that there are many other Hang Seng related indexes that you can trade. Hang Seng China Enterprise Index, Hang Seng Tech Index. Right now, I'm interested in Hang Seng Index. And if you are bullish on Hang Seng Index, then choose daily long. But if you are bearish, then you choose daily short. For example, I'm going to illustrate with a daily long DLC here. Click that and there would be all these DLCs that are available for you to take advantage should Hang Seng Index move up. Now, which one will I choose? I would choose the one with this red color symbol here. But at the same time, I will look out for sensitivity. The lower the sensitivity, the more reactive is the DLCs on the movement of the underlying. For example, for this particular DLC, MEAW, it means that Hang Seng Index needs to move by 12 points in order for a one tick change. Whereas if you take a look at this one here, it means that Hang Seng Index needs to move by 1,284 points in order for a one tick change. Okay, I will look for where the sensitivity is the lowest or one of the lower sensitivity. Back into Hang Seng, we have some risk event here, of course, that we have the US election around the corner. And especially also do take note that this is showing on the weekly chart and the week hasn't closed yet. There's still a chance for price to retrace lower. So do always do your own risk evaluation. All right, thanks a lot for watching this video. And if you like this video, remember to click the subscribe button so that you know that whenever I launch a new video, you will be notified immediately. All right, I'll see you in my next trade.